Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesigningTechTips.com. Well, we got a great one for you today. It's a question that comes up all the time and it's about embedding maps on your site and adding live Google Maps. I've got a live full width Google Map here. If I scroll in and scroll out, you can see it's a live map there. People are having trouble using the map module with Divi. It's really easy. The only trouble is you do have to get an API key from Google to be able to use live maps. So we're going to show you how to work around that today and show you some of the great things you can do with an embedded map. And as I mentioned, there's no API key involved at all. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work, which is right here. I'm going to delete this section and we'll start from scratch. Blue tab for a section, hit the little trash can. Okay, I'm going to add a new section. Just click on any section. You'll find a little blue button there to add a new section. I'm going to make mine a regular section. Inside, well, initially, let's put two columns and I'll change this out in a moment. Now, Divi has got a maps module. And there it is right there. But as I mentioned before, if you want to use this, you have to add a Google API key or else you're going to get this error here. That's, that's very easy to do. You can just go over to Google, create an account and create an API key. But if you don't actually want to do that, there's an easier way. So let's trash that one. Let's add a new module. I'm just going to add a regular Divi code module for this today. Okay, and there it is. So we need a bit of code to put in there. I know it says code, but it's literally copy and paste, so don't get too worried about that. Let's go over to Google Maps. For anybody who doesn't know, just go to Google and type in maps. And you'll see maps.google.com come up there. I've already got mine open here. I've put the White House in as an address. Just put in whatever address you want. So zoom in or zoom out to the sort of size that you want yours. Then if we look over here, we've got a little share button. Click on it, and there's a little embed a map heading right up here. If you click on that, it'll give you the HTML code for the particular map that you've got up there. Just go ahead and hit the copy HTML. It will tell you it's been copied to the clipboard. We'll go back to our site now and paste it in there. As you can see, we've got a little Google map there. And that's a live Google map. If I hit my control key and roll in with the mouse there, you can see it's live interactive map. Just exactly what we wanted. And that's great. And once we've got it in there, you can apply other things to this and create hover effects. For instance, if we go down to our design here, they've got some fantastic filters where you can invert it and stuff and get a sort of nighttime version of your map going if you want to. You can bring the saturation up so it looks crazy colors and you can change the hue if you want it to go even crazier like i say you can create some really striking things with it by using these filters let's reset all of these and of course you could create a hover effect if you wanted to and common to all divi modules if you roll over the dark writing within a module you see some icons pop up here are the thing that you want to affect invert in my case let's put it back down to normal daylight we could create a hover effect that it turns dark when they put their mouse on it if you want to do that hit the little arrow there we got one setting for desktop when the mouse is not on it and a different setting for hover when they put their mouse on it so we can have it change to a nighttime version when they put their mouse on it but i'm not really interested in any of that today i'm just going to show you how to manipulate this so let's take that back off we got a regular daylight map there. That's just some of the things you can do with it. And of course, you can put borders around, box shadow, anything, any of the other features that you've got in this module. Okay, well, let's go into the row itself now. I'm going to change it from two columns to one column with the little icon there just to the right of the duplicate. There's what it is at the moment, two columns. Let's change it to one column. We've now got one column, but our map is only covering well just over half of it, it looks like and that's an easy fix 
what we can do is go in there. If we look down the bottom, there's some blue writing here. We've got a width and we've got a height. It's got a height of 450 and that's actually pixels and a width of 600. If you want it to fill the available space of whatever row or column you've got yours in, we need to go into the width right there, select the 600, make sure you don't lop off those inverted commas either side. That's really important. And I'm going to change that from 600 to 100 and the percent sign. And you'll notice that our map now is filling up that whole area. Perfect. If you want it to be taller, just put a bigger value in there. Let's make it perhaps 550. Let's make it deeper. If you want it shorter, I'm sure you can figure out what to do here. Let's make it 300. I've actually made it 30 there, as you can see, but it does work. That's not what I wanted. I wanted 300. Just like that. Fantastic. I was happy with the 450 then. But if you want to change the height, that's the way you do it there. And of course, it'll function exactly the same way. You can still roll in and roll out. So you can customize it to fit whatever size you've got going on your site. And of course, for anybody that doesn't know how to make it full width, I'll show you how to make it full width also. So let's just change that back to 450. Remember, do not cut off those inverted commas up there. Fantastic. Well, let's make this full width. And I'm sure some of you are ahead of me, but for anybody that doesn't know how to do this, to make this full width, what we've got to do is make the actual row itself full width. And to do that, green tab for the row, hit the little cog icon, go to design, sizing, width right there. I'm going to take that up all the way to the right so it says 100%. I'm going to copy that, control C. I'm going to paste it down below in the back max width there. That's control V to paste, or you can just type it in if you want. As you can see, we've now got a full width map. And that's going to be the full width of any device that they view it on because it's got 100%. Now we've got a gap at the top and the bottom. I want to get rid of that. So still in our row settings, let's close up sizing. We can go to spacing just down below and take away any padding top and bottom. Let's do that. Put a zero in the top. It'll put the picks in for you. Hit the chain. It'll do the same for the bottom. That's reduced it a bit. We've still got a bit of padding in there from our section. So let's close this one up. Hit the little check mark. We'll go into the section, the blue tab. We'll go design and do exactly the same thing. Spacing. Put a zero in there. Hit the chain. And it's taken it away from top and bottom. Now you may find with the Google Map, we're a little bit, probably three or or four pixels of white space just at the bottom there. I'm not too worried about that, but if you did want to get rid of that, we could go in there, go into the little module here. Let's put a little background color in. Match that footer color. Here's background, always under content. I'm going to get the little color palette out. I think that's my 24, 24 gray there. And that's taken that away because it's just giving that module that same background color as the footer right there. And that's pretty much it really. Like I say, no API key involved. Let's just save this, make sure it's gonna work on the front end. Looks like I'm zoomed in. Let's get it back to normal. Reset. There we go. That's more like it. So let's save our page changes down here. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And if we roll on down, there's our full width live Google map. We put our mouse on top of it, hold the control key down. You can zoom in, zoom out, get directions, do whatever you want. And that's a great little feature to have on your site. It really is, especially for a contact page. I do these for my clients on contact pages and they always like the full width Google Maps down there. So there we are, guys. There's how to create a full width live Google Map with no API key. And just a few other things you can do with it, like the filters and stuff like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful today. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22. 
and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.